All right, welcome to Advanced Photoshop. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use Vanishing Point. And what Vanishing Point will allow you to do is copy and paste items in perspective. And this has actually been one of my most popular videos, but the video is really old. I have decided to remake this video. I'm gonna add another section on how to clone in perspective. So we're gonna add a little bit more information but let's see what it would look like if you, you did this the wrong way. So let's go ahead. We're just gonna take this image here of YouTube and we will select it. So I'll hit all copy and we'll come over here and we'll just paste it. And so if I tried to kind of move this over here and put this on this wall, there's no way because the perspective is wrong. Even if I resize it, it's never gonna look right. So let's take a look at Vanishing Point. Vanishing Point is how you do this. Now it's been around for a really long time and they haven't updated it. So I'm gonna try to show you some ways to make this the least destructive. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make blank layer because I wanna copy this on the blank layer. You're going to need to copy and paste. In this case, it's this logo. So it is Command or Control A to select all and then Command C to copy or Control C to copy on a PC. And we'll go back in here. We're gonna go up to Filter and drop down to Vanishing Point. And the way Vanishing Point works is right here, we've got this little grid and we need to set the perspective of the image. And so this is the perspective that we're looking at right in here. Since this line goes off the page, I'm gonna to try to do it in this location and then we'll stretch it out a little bit. So let's go ahead and set the perspective for this image. So I'm gonna click and drag, just I'm clicking and letting go of my mouse. Click and drag. Now this I'm gonna to have to sort of guess as to where it is. And then we'll come up here and we'll click and drag there. Actually, let's move this up a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we're just gonna take this and we're gonna drag it out all the way. So we have that whole thing in perspective. The next step after you've created that perspective is to paste your image. And that's gonna be Command or Control V as in Victor and then you're gonna put that in. And then you're just gonna simply grab this and kind of drag it into the image. And you can see when you drag it into the image, it places it in perspective. Now, once we've got this image in here, it's I wanna put it on this wall right here, but it's way too big. So what we can do is come on over to here, and this is our transform tool. So I can click on the transform tool, and then I can scale this image out. We're scaling this, and that looks a whole lot better. And so we can say, this is what it would look like. Let's rotate that a little bit. So it looks more realistic. And then we will go ahead and apply that by hitting okay. And boom, just like that, we have the YouTube logo placed on that wall into perspective. And the cool thing here is, you don't wanna do it on your background layer because then you can't change it. So by doing that on a blank layer, it allows me to either turn it on or turn it off. One, if the client doesn't like that or they want it in a different place or they, they wanna change something about it. Now, it isn't non-destructive enough that you can go in here. You'll need to start the process over, but it makes it easy to, boom, it's gone and start over. The next thing we're gonna take a look at is cloning and perspective. So in this case, this is a random photo. I don't think this needs to have it done, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone out this black grate. So normally this would be really, really difficult. So we would come in here and we would get our cloning tool and let's make that 100%. I would take this and then try to clone it. Now you can see it doesn't match. This area doesn't match that area because it's going back in perspective. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So we're gonna come in here. All right, so I've loaded the image back in. We're gonna remove what we did. Once again, we're gonna come in here, we're going to add a plus so we have a new layer. We're gonna go up to Filter, drop down to Vanishing Point. 
we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw in perspective. So we'll come up here and we will click, 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 and click. And you want to make sure this is in blue. If it's in red or yellow, it's telling you, hey, you didn't do this right. So make sure it's in blue. Now what we want to do is come over here to our clone stamp tool. Look, Vanishing Point has not been updated in a really long time. I wish they would do a couple of things to make this non-destructive, but we're gonna get this stamp tool. We're gonna come in here. I'm gonna clone by making a target. So I'm holding my Alt or Option tool, click, and then I'm gonna go over here and you can see it's not a big enough. So I'm gonna make my brush bigger, which I can't see. I'm gonna clone again. And we'll come in here and I'm trying to line up those squares. All right, that looks pretty good there. And then we'll come over here and make a target. Try not to get rid of that line. Boom, just like that. You can see that we have stamped that in perspective now. We've cleaned it up and that is gone. Now we could come in here and make a mask and clean that up a little bit so it's just this area, meaning I could make a mask. And if I want to reveal what is below, I would take a brush, black. Let's get a normal brush that's not a something weird. And let's make the brush harder and smaller. And what I'm going to do is use the tool the to draw a straight point. So I'm going to click, hold, shift, click. I'm gonna do the same thing back here. Click, shift, click. And that lets me draw a straight line in the background when I'm doing that, okay? So we'll go ahead and do that. So that process is click, shift, click. You can see it draws, lets me draw a straight line. It looks like I got a little of that black up. So I wanna move back a little bit. So we're gonna go click, shift, click. Do the same thing here, click, shift, Click, straight line. I'm just masking out those areas so it's just this cloned area in the background. Once again, because we've done this on its own layer, we can easily remove it, but that's how you use Vanishing Point in Adobe Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.